public okay. serving soldier. If you have so much respect for this country, I, I'm just intrigued by this because I think we can show a picture of it. Why did you turn up at the Cenotaph on Remembrance Sunday with a pair of underpants on your head? Yes, this was about, this is when I was about 16 years old. Um, it was somewhat, yeah, of course, I'm looking at it now. This was about 16, I was 16 years old. I was up there, my own family fought in the Second World War. My own family fought the Nazis in the Second mm. World but War. But why did you do that? I didn't do it, someone else done it, and conveniently, someone was well, there with the camera. You. That is me, but someone else put those on my head, and I took them off very oh. quickly. And it, oh, I see, someone put them on your head. They didn't, they didn't Photoshop it on your head, they put it on your head physically on no, that No, that day. actually happened, but at mm. the same time, Someone put it on my head and there was conveniently a journalist waiting there with a camera. And I think that's very suspicious. Why didn't you take it off I right would away? never, ever disrespect the memory of my own great-grandfather right. who fought in the Second World War or, or any of the other uh, war I, heroes. I, I understand that, of course. We've all had relatives who fought in the Second World War. But can we just show the picture again? Because uh, if someone put this on your head, you didn't take it off. You're walking down the street there. You didn't immediately... I mean, if someone put something on your head that you don't want, you would immediately take it off. You haven't. You're seen there walking in a rather determined fashion. No, that, that, those were on my head for about five seconds. And conveniently, yeah. there was a camera present with a journalist. But that was when I was 16 years old. Uh, and let, let's be honest, this is a bit silly and childish, isn't it? Well, well, next time it's you just get slightly any, strange, isn't yeah, it? Next time you get any Liberal Democrats or Tories or Labour in here, I'm oh. sure you'll be digging up stuff from their oh, past Oh, I can to assure you, we've had, uh, we've had Tories in Nazi uniforms and Swiss parties, so you're not uh, being discriminated against uh, here. But we'll, we'll have to... Uh,